Now we will look into two dimensional geometric shapes. Over here we have a triangle and the coordinates of the vertices or the endpoints are given. Now we need to find the perimeter and circumference. Now, uh, sorry, perimeter or circumference and area. Perimeter is for objects which are, say, triangle, rectangle, you know, which has edges, you know, ends. Like this, like lines, I mean, at the ends. Circumference is for something that is around. Circle is having a circumference. But the, the, but the concept is same. Circumference means the outer portion, you know. Whereas, perimeter means the same thing, the outer portion. Now, the best way to understand is, imagine there is a fence, there's a garden. Imagine this is all the garden over here in the front yard. And, you know, there's a fence, okay, this old thing, this is all the fence. Now, the amount of fence covering the ends of the garden is basically the perimeter. If you calculate all this fence material, like all this, this length, that is the perimeter. And all the amount of, you know, uh, plants or soil you can fill in in this region, that is the area inside the fence, inside the garden region, that is the area. So that is the thing. Just like the walls of a house or a room are the perimeter and the space inside the walls is the area. Now, understanding so much, let's try to solve this. Before solving, you must know the basic formulas, which you already know from before. Say, for example, a triangle. The perimeter is adding all the three sides, whereas area is just half base into height. Height is the vertical height, that is 90 degree height, where, and over here the base is this, the height would be this. Uh, now, we will try and solve this up, but... You can easily solve for the area because you know the length of your base is 1, 2, 3, 4. It's 4 and over here it is 9. So half into 4 into 9 would give you the area. But, so it would be 2 times, 2 times 9 is 18. So 18 units square. But what about the perimeter? We need to know this. Now we don't know that distance. So that distance can be found out by the distance formula. So please go back to the previous videos if you have forgotten the distance formula. It is a huge formula using square root x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. We will see it. To find BC, now AB is very simple. As I told, it's 4. Basically 4 minus 0, y2 x2 minus x1, 4 minus 0 or just count it out. Even AC is very easy. It is 9 minus 1. Uh, okay, sorry. I told 9. Now... I did not see over here clearly that I thought it's starting from the center. It starts from 1. Very, very important to notice. It's 9 minus 1. It's 8. This is 8. You need to count from here 1, 2, 3. It'll be 8. And over here it's 4. But in order to find this BC, you need to use the distance formula. X2 minus X1 plus Y2 minus Y1, or you can write it as Y2 minus Y1 plus X2 minus X1. You will get the same answer. So here they have used Y2 first, 9 minus 1 the whole square, plus 4 minus 0 the whole square. Solve it up, you will get the answer. And then you can use the, per, uh, you can uh, you can solve for the perimeter. That is 4 plus 8 plus this length, that is square root of 80, you're getting the answer same with the area is half base into height i did wrong a while ago because i used this as nine so i got 18 it is eight times four multiplied by half it'll be 16 centimeters square that's it similarly other problems please do it by yourself over here it is a rectangle all you need to do is find the distance you need to just find two distance this and this and this and this so why? Because the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. See, margin, this is 5 and this is 3. Then this also would be 3 and this would be 5. So it's easy to find the perimeter. Add them all up and area is base into length. Uh, any, this 5 into 3, that is 15. But the dimensions are wrong. You need to solve it, get the correct values and then solve it up. Please try the other answers. Now we are, it is a circle. It's very simple. Only 
find the radius and then you can get it. The formula for area is pi r squared and for the circumference is 2 pi r. So just remember the formulas and then solve it up. Everything is mentioned over here. Uh, all the details and solving is mentioned. Please do solve it and check your answers. They are very, very straightforward. Solve it by yourself and then just look for the answers over here.